fourth chapter a familiar book and the Lord had me going in one direction where well, I was going in one direction and the Lord took me in another direction so I said Lord it's, it's your will and your way and that's what I want to do and that's how I want to be led Amen. Philippians the fourth chapter Amen. looking at verse four through nine Praise God. Like I said, we like to reiterate Great Commission, don't sell CDs. Somebody approach you or trying to sell you a CD from Great Commission, they are not of this ministry. Freely he have given us, and freely we give back. Philippians, the fourth chapter, starting with verse four. You have it, say amen. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplications. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report. If there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which you have both heard, learned and received. And heard and seen in me do. And the God of peace shall be with you. Let us pray. Father God, I thank you. I thank you for who you are in the midst of a dark time. Lord, for you are light. And Lord, you dispel darkness. Lord, have your way in this place. I recognize and realize that you are sovereign God. And nothing happened unless you allow it. Lord, we look not only things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. Lord, they are spiritual. Lord, we pray that your anointing flow in this place. Lord, use me as you will. Lord, I'm just your servant. Lord, to do thine holy will. As I come, Lord, I ask for forgiveness of sin. For you said in your word, all have sinned and come short of thy glory. But right now, Lord, touch ears that they may hear. Touch hearts that they may be receptive. And we'll be mindful to give you all the praise, all the glory. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And the Lord took me to this particular book, and mm -hmm. as I was meditating on it, he stopped me at verse 7. Okay. And the title of this message is, The Peace of God. The Peace of God. In yes. 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 verse 7 reads, and The Peace of God, mm -hmm. okay. which passes all understanding, yes, Lord. shall keep your hearts mm -hmm. and minds mm -hmm. through Christ Jesus. Yeah. Yes, sir. Herbert kind of touched on that scripture a little bit this morning. And as I thought about it and meditated on it, you know, I, I said all the time, one of my sayings is you either fixing to go through a storm, you're in a storm, or you're coming out of storm. And we have storms in our lives. You know, even with this COVID-19, people are, people are out of work, lost jobs, and businesses have shut down. Sickness is rapid. Even young teenagers are committing suicide because they can't get around and out the regular routines and things that kids normally do. But the peace of God, 
If you know like I know, the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, shall keep your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus. Yeah. Your hearts and your mind. It's, it's hard. I realize it's hard on people. And, you know, I was, I went by mom's on Friday and she was telling me about the storm that come through. And one elderly man, she mentioned to me, in whatever community he was in, the storm was approaching. And mom said he ran to the bathroom to get in his covering place. And she said the, the storm hit. And said before he could pray, it was over with just like that. And said wasn't well, nothing standing but him in that bathroom yes. that he ran. Yes. Said before he could pray, yes. storm come through just like that. Took everything around his whole house. But the bathroom where he was standing in. The peace of God. The peace of God. Do you have the peace of God in the midst of storms in your life? Storms come in all shapes and sizes. You know, and after the storm, the sun will shine. Not only the physical sun, but the spiritual sun himself. It will shine. Me and Brand and uh, MJ was there at the house too when storm come through tornado highway 11. And like I said, we lost power. We, had, we normally don't lose power. But this particular time, we lost power. And I told Brand and MJ, I said, let's head for the basement. We got a room that's similar to a storm shelter, our lowest part of the house. But in the midst of it, I had already prayed, Melvin. Because we have the peace of God in the midst of storms. And Tasha texted and she said, they said a tornado was on Highway 11. I was in that area. And we could see, I could see the wind and the trees and the storm. And it, it, was, it was rough. It was rough. But I know a man. Yes, yes, call on him. Call on him. I know a man. His name Jesus, Herb. Yes, he can speak to the storm. Yes, and he can say, Peace be still. Yes, Peace be still. Yes, in the midst of storms. Yes, Not only the physical storms, but storms in my life. Yes, when I didn't have a job. Things was slack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the peace of God. Yes, it kept my heart. Amen. Thank you. Yes, it kept my mind. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Christ Jesus. Yes, Focus on Christ Jesus. Amen. We don't look at what it looked like, man. Oh, see, we have spiritual eyes. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We can see beyond yes, what the world sees. We know our God is able. Yeah. He's able. One of one of Melvin's favorite scriptures, I, <laughs> Psalms 37. Go to Psalm 37. Melvin, Melvin quoted a lot of times. I like to hear him say it. Psalm 37. 37 and 25. I hear Melvin quote it all the time. You sound good quoting it to my brother. You sound like you know him too. And Melvin said this a lot of times, Psalm 37, 25. I've been young and now I am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging bread. I've been young too, Mel. But now I'm old. But I had never seen the righteous forsaken. 
Oh, a seed big and bread. My God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He will, he have, and he will continue. You can testify about it. You know him like I know him. Hallelujah. Back to Philippians, fourth chapter. Verse four says, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Paul exalting the Philippian church here. This was, this was a loving church he loved, and they were cheerful givers and gave in and everything they had to those that was in need. When, 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 you, got a, when you got a pastor or a leader that have the heart like that to give and, and help, then it, it'll, it'll rub off, it'll flow down to the ministry, to the congregation. And, and those that are around them will have that same spirit, yes, that same mind. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He said, rejoice, I say. Uh -huh. And again, I say rejoice. Yes, I say. Rejoice always yes. in the Lord. Amen. No matter what the conditions is. Right. Rejoice in the Lord. Yes, Lord. Right. Like Rosie said with her neighbor, she, she pulled up blasting them. That rapping music, whatever kind of music, it was blasting. But the Lord said, rejoice. Don't get mad at her because she ain't where you at. Pray for her. And she commenced to praying. And the Lord go to doing his work. Don't, don't go trying to cuss them out or, or give them no dirty look, Herbert. Pray for them. And watch God work. And then it'll amaze you when you see him work. You can testify for that young lady. And Rose will come here testified for her. Won't, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Yeah, now some of us may want to frown up at him and go looking at him crazy. No, pray. Pray. And watch God work. Watch him work. Verse 5 said, let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Yes, sir. Let your moderation be known. Yes, sir. Your graciousness, yes. your eagerness, yes. your willingness yes. to do what need to be done, right. to do the right thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, bless you, Lord. Bless you. Lord. <laughs> A good disposition mm -hmm. right. showing how gracious you are right. to help those that are in need. Don't, don't, don't pile it up in your bonds and get bigger bonds and, and stack it up. Amen. Amen. Like, like Tony come to me sometime when he done killed a couple of deals. He said, I got something for you. Amen. I got something for you. Share it. Share it. Share it. That's the heart that God put in him. To share Verse 6, be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Don't be anxious for nothing. Matthew said, take no thought for your mom. Take no thought for it. Lord going to take care of you. He done took care of you all these years. What makes you think he can't do it now? Because of COVID-19, uh -huh. oh. place is shut down. Uh -huh. oh, no. He said, I open doors that no man can close. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I done took care of you when you was knee high to a door now. Uh -huh. Come on now. Now you done got a little old and smelling yourself. You think I can't take care of you now? Uh -huh. I'm going to take care of you. Yes, but in order to take care of you, you got to do it by prayer. Prayer. Pray in all situations. Don't care what it is. Have a, have a pray, prayer relationship. If you want to heal, you're going to have one anyway. 24-7. You're going to be praying. He said, before you call, I've already answered. 
I've already answered. I know what you need. You ain't got to keep telling me. But I mean you can. Because I want you to. But I know what you need, Melvin. It's on the way. May not come when you want it, Herbert. But it's going to be on time. Everything by prayer and supplications. I mean earnest prayer and supplication. Not, not asking in a miss, but being earnest about what you really need. And not only you, but somebody else. That's why we mess up a lot of time. We, we, we selfish. It's always me and mine, what I need, what my brother needs, what my sister needs. Forget about me. You got me. I'm praying for them. I know they all right right now, but I'm praying ahead of time for down the road. We were, we were talking this morning, and I, I was going to say it, but I, the Lord said, tell it now. I'll tell it, Lord. I, I got out there with Cannon and Lincoln the other day, Herbert. And they, 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 they can't wait. Pull the gold out, Papa. They're going to team up on me, both of them, him and his brother. It's okay, boy. Come on. I played, played horse with them. They beat me in horse a couple times, Mel. <laughs> then we played a game. Went to 20. I said, I'm mad now. <laughs> got out there, I got them running around and shooting and jumping. And I beat them two games, Mel. I beat them. 20 to 12 and 20 to 4. I said, Pop Ball still got it. No. All right. Yes, but when I come in the house, Melvin, yes, when I come in the house, Herbert, yes, you had to get the nurse, I was sweating. Yeah, I called on the nurse. Yes, and she's looking at me with that look like, yeah. you know better. Yeah. You know better. Your lane, yeah. <laughs> Aggravated my foot. That foot was so so chuck, I couldn't even put it on the floor. I commenced to praying. I rubbed it down with sass for two days in a row. But I prayed first. Lord said, don't do it no more, Lou. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Everything in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God. Let it be known unto God. Go to John, the second chapter. Gospel of John. John, the second chapter. The Lord know all about us. John, the second chapter, verse 24 and 25. You have it, say amen. amen. But Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men. And needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. The Lord knows what's in us. He know all about us. He know what we need before we need it. But he said through prayer and supplications, let your request be made known unto God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. You know, the Bible said men ought to always pray and not faint. Prayer is the key. But it's faith that unlocks the door. Amen. Prayer is the key. I don't care what we are going through. We need to pray. 
And even when it don't look like what we think it should look like, or it's not going in the direction that we think it should be going, I realize that my God is on time. He's always on time. And, and, and we're amazed a lot of times when we see the outcome of situations and people. People. Tara mentioned this morning about her family, the both sides. We all got family like that, Tara. Ain't no perfect family. No, no, no perfect family. Won't be perfect until we make it home. It's hard for any family. But when you see what God is doing in the midst of a family, like the pastor with his sisters, when the enemy tell them don't have nothing to do with him, God said, you just wait. I'll take care of that. Things that we don't expect, God knows. He knows what's in a man and a woman. Thank you, Lord. You see, in the, the, the effect of this, after you prayed and after the supplications, and you thanking him with thanksgiving. He said, let your request be made known unto God. Then he come down to verse 7. For he stopped me in my tracks. And he said, after you done all, you prayed, supplicate, thanksgiving, made your request about what you want, what you need, what your desires are. The effect of it is the peace of God. The peace of God, he says, which passes all understanding. Not some, but all. And it shall keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. The effect of that prayer, that supplication. That thanksgiving and your request, you talking to him with a relationship with him. See, in order to have the peace of God, you got to have and you got to have a relationship with the God of peace. See, you can't have the peace of God if you don't have the God of peace. And not only the God of peace, but the Prince of Peace. But you got to be born again in order to have the peace of God. And know and have a relationship with the Prince of Peace. You got to, you must be born again to have this relationship that the peace of God in every situation, every trial and tribulation in your life, Amen. you can withstand the storms of life. Yes, yes, Whether it's family, yes. jobs, yes. children, wife, husband, whatever it is. Yes. If you got the peace of God yes. and know the God of peace yes. and the Prince of Peace, yes. you can stand. Yes. And when you done all, you can still stand. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. The peace of God. Peace of God. Now where that come from? Y'all know. John 14. Go to John 14. Gospel of John. 14 chapter. Where did this peace come from? Come from God, Prince. You just said it. The God of peace. The Prince of peace. I know I said it, but I want you to see it for yourself. 
Don't just say what Minister Dudley said. I read it. Like Tony said this morning, when I know truth, can't nobody take it from me. When I know truth, can't nobody tell me about it. You can join on with me and we both can testify and we can change and sing about truth. John, the 14th chapter, verse 27. Look at verse 27. You have it say amen. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, giveth I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Amen. Jesus said, my peace I give to you. Not as the world give it. I'm not talking about the world peace. The world will give you that peace where they smile at you. And before you walk off, they frowning. The Lord said, I give you my peace. My peace I give unto you. When the world frown at you, you don't get upset and uptight because you got the peace of God. Whatever situation it may be, whether they lie on you or what, you got the peace of God. This world don't understand the peace of God. When situations happen in lives of a believer, We mentioned in the past before about the situation that happened in South Carolina where the young white man came into church and yes. killed folks. Right. 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 I'll study. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that the sentence and the people of God, they forgave him. They forgave him. The world can't understand that type of peace, that type of forgiveness. They want revenge. They want an eye for an eye. A life for a life. But the peace of God. You can have peace in the midst of it. Jesus said, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world give it. Give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. When Jesus was departing from the earth, mm -hmm. he gave his will. That's right. He gave his soul right. back to the Father. Mm -hmm. His body to Joseph. Right. Take care, Joseph. Mm -hmm. His mother he gave to John. Right. And his clothes to the soldiers. Right. But silver and gold he didn't have, Mill. But what he had for his poor disciples was peace. He left his disciples peace. I give you a title to peace. You have a title to this peace I'm leaving. The best thing I could leave you was my peace. Silver and gold, you don't, don't worry about that. You don't, you don't worry about that. But what I'm leaving to you is my peace. That's what he left to his disciples. That's what he left to you and me. Amen. That we can withstand yes, sir. the trials and the tribulation of this world. Yes, yes, this life. Yes, Don't care what it is. Glory to God. The peace of God. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yeah, he did. Mm. Glory to God. Ephesians. Go to Ephesians, the second chapter. Okay. Look at Ephesians. Thank you, Lord. Ephesians, the second chapter. Thank you. Yeah, he will them his peace. Amen. Ephesians, the second chapter. Okay. Looking at verse 14 through 19. Amen. Book of Ephesians. Mm -hmm. Second chapter. That's right. Verse 14 through 19. Amen. You have it, say amen. amen. For he is our peace. He is our peace. Who has made both one and has broken down the middle wall of partition between us. All right. Having abolished in his flesh the enemy, mm -hmm. even the law of commandments contained in ordinance. Good. For to make in himself of twain one man, so making peace, mm -hmm. 
and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the intimate thereby, and became and came and preached peace to you which were far off, and to them that were nigh. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Now therefore you are no more strangers and foreigners and but fellow citizens with the saints and the household of God. He is our peace. He's our peace. In the midst of storms. Don't care what it is. If you know him and you got a relationship with him, you can, you can walk through the fire and you won't get burned. I'm talking about the fire of life in this world. It's going to be some situations, y'all. Brian said this morning, it ain't going to get better. <laughs> Not in the world. Not in this world. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. In the spirit, yeah. John, the 16th chapter. Go to the 16th chapter of John. John, 16th chapter. Verse 33. You heard it, you read it, you know it. If you don't, you finna see it. John, the 16th chapter. Looking at verse 33. You have it, say amen. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulations. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Amen. He said, in me, in Christ Jesus, you have peace. Not in Buddha, not in Muhammad, not in Brahma, the Hindu God, who they prayed up there in the White House with, about. In Jesus Christ, you'll have peace. Because in this world, you're going to have tribulations. You will have tribulations. But be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. He said, I've overcome the world. If I overcame, you can overcome also. If you have my peace, if you have the peace of God, and you know the God of peace, and the Prince of peace, you have his peace. As a believer, as a true believer, because we got church folks now. I'm just speaking it now like it is. We got church folks. But the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and your mind through Christ Jesus. Hearts get heavy sometimes. You know, in the midst of losing loved ones, some people never recover off of losing loved ones. I have a cousin, Erskine, when we was teenagers, Aunt Juanita's son, one of her sons. And one of the younger sons got killed over in Gate City. I think Lenard, Lenard was around 13, 14 years old. About 14, got shot in the back in Gate City. Yeah, Jake got shot, both of them that same time. Jake lived. Both of them was over there. But Erskine, my cousin, he, he never recovered. He never did. To the day, he hadn't recovered. Drugs and alcohol and, and just that heavy heart. But if he had the peace of God, I know this was a brother, it was a cousin. It hurt all of us. We, we know, man, I've been the feeling of losing brothers, Tony, losing brothers, losing sisters or aunties or mothers or whoever. We know the hurt. But if we have the peace of God, yes, sir. Thank you. 
we're, we're not super Christians that we don't shed tears and, and we don't be sorrowful. But the peace of God, it'll keep us, Michelle, with your mom. I know you loved. We loved her. But the peace of God, it helps us, our heart and our mind, to stay focused on Jesus Christ. Because we all got to go that way one day. Yeah. Praise God. Second Corinthians, sixth chapter. Second Corinthians, flip back over. Second Corinthians, sixth chapter. Sixth chapter. Looking at verse four through ten. Second Corinthians, sixth chapter. Looking at verse four. Through 10. You have it, say amen. amen. But in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of God in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distress, in stripes, imprisonment, in tumult, laboring, in watching, in fasting, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, kindness, by the Holy Ghost. By love unfeigned, oh, yeah. by the word of truth, by the power of God, mm -hmm. by the arm of righteousness on the right hand and on the left hand, mm -hmm. by the arm, by honor and dishonor, yes, by evil report and good report, yes, as deceivers yes. and yet true, mm -hmm. as unknown and yet well known, mm -hmm. as dying and behold we live, yes, as chasing and not kill. Sometimes it seems like stuff can just take us out. So much, so much stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. The heavy hearts that we have mm -hmm. and the mindset mm -hmm. that we're in. Right. That's why he said, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. That don't care how heavy your heart get. However your mind is not focusing and functioning on the Lord himself. You see, because when, when we distrust the Lord, mm -hmm. right. we're not fit for service. Amen. Amen. We, we, we're not fit. Amen. Because, see, he can have you in the midst of your trial right. and your tribulation okay. to help somebody else. Right. It can happen. Yes, in the midst of going through ourselves, yes, Melvin, yes, we can be a testimony for somebody else. That's in worse shape than we are in. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The peace of God, which passes all understanding. Philippians 4 and 7. Mm -hmm. Shall keep your hearts and your mind mm -hmm. through Christ Jesus. Isaiah 26, 3 and 4. Isaiah 26, chapter 3 and 4. 3 and 4. Isaiah 26, chapter. Verse 3 and 4. You have it, say amen. That will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. Because he trusted in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever. For in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Keep your mind stayed on him. Continue to trust in the Lord. He'll give you strength. In the midst of storms in life. We all go through, have been through. But the Lord delivered us out of them all, Paul said. Paul said, persecution and afflictions came unto me in Antioch, in Iconium. But out of them all, he said, the Lord delivered me. He delivered Paul back then. He'll deliver me right now. 
through whatever it is. I, I have to harp on, on Kevin a lot of times I'm up here because he, he, he get me to read my own mail. Read, read, brother. I went through what we went through last year on 32 hours, Mel, because of COVID-19, Herbert. Now, when I got hired at that job, I told the boss, Mel, Long as I get 40 hours, I'm all right. You know, you go and you demand, you, you tell them what you want. We negotiate. Long as I get 40 hours, I'm all right. Come 32 hours, you think I left? <laughs> I stayed right there. Because the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. Yeah, I, I didn't understand it at the time, Herb, but I just know I was going to have to tighten my belt. Bro, I was going to tighten the budget. Keep bringing out a Piggly Wiggly some. But I knew we was going to be all right. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes. Yeah, man. Thank you, Lord. I'm getting hot up in here, y'all. Come on. Yeah. I know we're going to be all right. <laughs> Lord took care of us back then. He will now. He will now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Psalms 119. Come on, look at me there. Psalm 119, 165. Amen. 119, 165. Amen. Amen. Psalms. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Psalms 119, 165. 165. You have it, say amen. 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 We give you time to get there. I don't want you to say it, Minister Dudley just said. I want you to read it for yourself. That's why I give you time. I ain't going to get up here and holler scripture and then flip and go to read. When I hear pages stop, then I go because I want you to read with me. Psalms 119, 165, and it reads, Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Nothing. When you love the word of God, when you love his statutes, his commandments, you got great peace. Great peace. See, because the Holy Spirit will bring a word back up in your spirit. Whatever trial or tribulation you're going through, right. he'll bring it in remembrance yeah. to help you through it. Yes, sir. Yes, he will. Oh, yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, Lord. Isaiah 45 and 7. Isaiah 45 and 7. Isaiah 45 and 7. Come on, look with it. Great God. Peace of God. Amen. The peace of God. Isaiah, the 42nd, 47th chapter. Mm -hmm. Looking 47, 47. Looking at verse 7. Verse 7? I'm sorry, 45. 45 and 7. I'm sorry. 45. Y'all paying attention. You, you paying attention. 45 and 7. Okay, okay. All right. You have it, say amen. amen. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Do all these things. See, and, and don't get me wrong now, God is not the author of sin. When he said, I create evil, he's talking about calamity and situations in the world. But he's sovereign. He's sovereign. He can take care of all of it. Isaiah, go ahead, 54th chapter of Isaiah. 54th chapter of Isaiah. Amen. Praise God. 54th. Isaiah, the 54th chapter. 
looking at verse 5 through 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 54, verse 5 through 10. You have it, say amen. 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 For thy maker is thine husband. Yes, Lord. The Lord of hosts is his name. Mm -hmm. And thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Mm -hmm. The God of the whole earth shall he be called. For the Lord has called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit. Okay. And a wife of youth, when thou was refused, said thy God. Mm -hmm. For a small moment have I forsaken thee. But, but with great mercies yes, will I gather thee. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment. But with, but with everlasting kindness yes. I will have mercy on thee, said the Lord thy Redeemer. For this is as the waters of Noah unto me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah shall no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I would not be wrought with thee, nor rebuke thee. For the mountains shall depart, and the hills remove. But my kindness shall not depart from thee, neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed said the Lord, that has mercy on thee. Amen. Lord made a covenant of peace covenant. with his people. A covenant of peace. Don't care what it looked like, how many times they have been in captivity. The Lord made a covenant with them. There's been men and women locked up in prison, but they had the peace of God that kept them in the midst of it. God's people, many times they rebelled and was hard-headed and stiff-necked. Oh, yeah. The Lord kept them Amen. because he made a covenant of peace with them. Amen. You can have that covenant of peace also Amen. if you're not living in sin. If you're living in sin, ain't no peace for you. You may think you may get or have the peace of the world, but this peace we talking about ain't no peace for you. People wonder why they, they go through and have trouble. Sin will cause you trouble. You will be trouble in sin. Amen. Sin will cost you more than you want to pay. Keep you longer than you want to stay. And take you further than what you want to go. Sin will. Like Kevin said, I have to read my own mail. Been now done that. It cost me, Melvin. It kept me too long, Pastor. But God, but God, y'all yes, 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 been now done that. Don't look at me like I'm the only one. It cost y'all too. It kept y'all too. Well, testify to him. I see Dabba, Dabba throwing his hand up. Dabba te testify. We ain't always been saints of God. We've been in the devil playground. Praise God. Amen. But God. But God. Yeah. Hmm. Praise God. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Ephesians, fourth chapter. Ephesians, four. Ephesians, the fourth chapter. Yeah. Ephesians, the fourth chapter. <laughs> Looking at the first three verses here. <laughs> Ephesians, the fourth chapter. Brentley, Brentley sounds like she's singing a song back there. You, you get some of this peace too, baby. Yes. Ephesians, the fourth chapter. Looking at the first three verses. You have it, say amen. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering. Forbearing one another in love, 
endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bonds of peace. In the bonds of peace. There, there's a bond in peace. See, people have, they have a society of peace. They have temples of peace. And all the time waiting to go to war. But if you got the bond of peace, See, we can, we, can, we can come together as one mm -hmm. on one accord mm -hmm. if we have the bond of peace. Right. See, because we're supposed to be peacemakers anyway. That's right. That's right. We are. And so if we're peacemakers, then we're all the time trying to help keep peace right. in the midst of families, mm -hmm. in the midst of jobs, right. in the midst of church. Right. The bond of peace. We can come together in unity of the spirit on one accord, one mind, thinking the same thing for the same cause in the bond of peace, bond of peace. Acts, the 10th chapter, book of Acts, Acts, the 10th chapter. Acts, the 10th chapter. Thank you, Lord. Acts, 10. Acts the 10th chapter. Bless you, man. Bless you, man. Start with verse 34. Peace of God. Peace of God. Yes, yes. 34 through 43. Yeah, 34. Acts the 10th chapter. Mm -hmm. Start with verse 34. Okay. Through 43. Mm -hmm. You have it, say amen. amen. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth. I perceive that God is no respect of person. Same peace he give me, he give to you. If you're born again, if you're not living in sin. But in every nation, he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. The words which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That word I say, Ye you know which was published throughout all Judea and began in Galilee after the baptism which John preached. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. And we are witnesses of all things which he did both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem, whom they slew and hung on a tree. How God raised them up their, their thing and showed him openly, not to all the people, but unto witnesses chosen before of God. Even to us who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify that is he which was ordained of God to be judge of the quick and the dead. To him give all the prophets witness that through his name, whosoever believed in him shall receive remission of sin. You believe in him, you'll receive it. Remission of sin. Amen. We preach peace. We preach peace. The world wants this peace. They can't understand how do you go on. And you tell them. Yes, sir. It's the peace of God, my brother. That's right. well, yes, That's how we do it. The peace of God. It's passive all understanding. Mm -hmm. Kept my heart, kept my mind. Yes, sir. In Christ Jesus. Yes, I didn't keep it by myself, for myself, cause of myself. Right. It was in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. James, the third chapter. Okay. Book of James. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. James, the third chapter. Third chapter of James. Amen. Looking at verse 17 and 18. 17 and 18. Book of James. It's wisdom. It's wisdom. Third chapter. Mm -hmm. Verse 17 and 18. Thank you, Lord. You have it, say amen. Amen. But the wisdom that is from above. Is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to entreat. 
full of mercy and good fruit, without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. The fruit of righteousness is sown in peace. When you do what is right, you'll have the peace of God. When you do what is right, you'll have the peace of God. Look here. Peace, peace is followed by pure. Pure. Pure and hard. First must be pure. Then the peace comes. You can't have an immoral lifestyle and think you got peace. The world going to jump up and down on you every which way they can. Try to con and connive and scam you. But when you got the peace of God, hmm, surpasses all understanding. Last scripture. Second Thessalonians, third chapter. Second Thessalonians, third chapter. Looking at verse 13 through 16. Second Thessalonians, third chapter. Verse 13 through 16. You have it, say amen. Amen. But ye, brethren, be not weary in well-doing. And if any man obey not our word by this epistle, note that man and have no company with him, that he may be ashamed. Yet count him not as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. Now the Lord of peace himself gives you peace. Always, by all means, the Lord be with you all. Praise God. Amen. Amen. The peace of God. Do you have the peace of God this evening? Amen. Amen. Praise God. If you don't have it, you can. But you must be born again. You must be born again to have this peace of God. And like I said, in order to have the peace of God, you got to know and have a relationship with the God of peace Amen. and the Prince of peace. Amen. And he'll keep your heart yes, sir. Yes, sir. and your mind and your and your through Christ Jesus, Amen. through all situations. Yes, Get a Lord a hand, praise. Come on. Come on.